are witness to one of the most exciting moments in Irish golfing history. Porrick Harrington has just landed back in Dublin, having retained his title as Open Champion. So Porrick, how does it feel to bring back the carrot jug? Oh yeah, it's unbelievable obviously uh, to have won a second major so quickly. Last year was uh, obviously euphoric uh, for it to happen. This year was a bit more satisfying but uh, it was a surprise for it to happen so quickly. I, I did feel like I, was, I could win many more majors but uh, for it to happen so quickly was, uh, was a big bonus. And were you worried about your wrist at the beginning of the week? Obviously I was. I, I did think it wasn't going to be uh, you know, possible for me to play at the beginning of the week, but uh, it all worked out for the better. It was actually a good distraction and, and probably helped that I didn't uh, tire myself out too much in playing too many practice rounds. I know you don't usually like to measure your success by results, but two majors now and world number three, that's got to be a huge leap for you. Well, I'm only a changed golfer in everybody else's eyes. Obviously, uh, my physical game are, uh, hasn't changed at all in the, in the last six months. I've probably played the same golf all year. I've just uh, you know, had to stay patient. Uh, results, obviously, are what people judge you by. And, and certainly, uh, if you go by results, uh, third in the world, winning uh, you know, back-to-back -back, uh, majors, uh, you know, all the other accolades that go with it, yeah, people will judge me as a different golfer, but uh, just the same guy I was last week. There's a lot of things went for me last week in terms of uh, the difficult conditions helped me stay focused and uh, you know they did suit me and and you know kept me kept my mind occupied. Sometimes I, I do tend to wander on the golf course, but uh, you know the conditions had to make sure that you, you paid attention all the time uh, right up until the very end. And now, of course, all your Ryder Cup qualifying worries are over. Yeah, that's nice. It's amazing to go from outside the qualifying to, to leading it, and it's uh, nice that I can go and now and. Uh, and watch the other guys sweat it out a little bit. Uh, it'd be interesting to see who makes the team and, and who has to get selected. And uh, thankfully, it's it's not going to be me worrying about it. Well, you deserve to celebrate in style over the next few days. Yep, I'm heading out here pretty soon now. I've got a, a, a party organised to go to, and uh, looking forward to that. I have to. I don't. I get to take it easy, but we'll, we'll be. We haven't quite organised anything yet. Uh, we've got to adjust and, 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 and work things out, but uh, I, I believe I will have a busy week, yes. So, does Paddy have a new family of ladybirds to put in the jug, or what's his new fascination? Caterpillars, actually, is what it is. Caterpillars, he wants to breed butterflies, I think, at this stage. But, uh, yeah, we've moved on from ladybirds. <laughs> Can you tell me, how important was it, um, when you were having your tough stretch with three bogeys, to have someone like Ronan, a good friend of yours, on the back? Yeah, well, it was important. He, he he stuck to his guns all the way through the 18 holes and, and said all the right things at the right times, uh, as I would expect him to do. And, and yeah, to three bogeys, it would have been very easy for me to get down on myself and believe that, uh, you know, the Open was slipping away from me. And uh, I think, uh, you know, it was very important that, you know, nothing had changed in our in our mindset as we went down the 10th fairway and we, we stuck to our game plan, played our shots. We didn't uh, get more aggressive. We didn't uh, really change anything. And when we just stayed patient waiting for it to turn again and uh, you know when it did turn 13 was a big play I, I was going to hit six iron and he uh, he got me to hit five iron uh, and you know that birdie won me the open and uh, when I look back I know the eagle and 17 will will always go down as the, as the shot shot of the tournament maybe shot of the year but uh, the the five iron into, into 13 won me the open. Well this is the greatest achievement of any Irish golfer so will you yourself look back on the two open titles as your legacy? still playing so uh, to be honest I wouldn't look at it like that uh, that's something when you retire from the game or you're, you're certainly winding down from the game you'd look back at your career and, and judge how you got on I'm still a current player so uh, my story is still unfo unfolding and uh, it's not the time to sit back and look at it it's the time to keep moving forward and keep playing and uh, you know I'll get nostalgic hopefully in uh, 30 years time and an appetite for even more majors yeah definitely I have to you know sit down and refocus uh, definitely uh, towards the end of this week and start picking out my uh, new goals and uh, as I said it was always to win more majors but uh, as I said it came around very quickly uh, a lot more goals there's there's other majors out there uh, there's I'm the only player with a chance of winning three three opens in a row next year so uh, you know there's lots of goals out there but I just have to sit down and uh, and apply myself and, uh, and 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 get some nice strong strong goals to focus on
We're back with PJ professional Jeff Lockery, who's helping us with some more golf tips. Now we have another viewer who's emailed in, and this month they'd like to know, should you keep your head steady? Because Jeff, it's one of those things you're taught, but might not actually be true. What do you think? Yes, it's a misconception to keep your head down. Now, I'll show you the wrong way and the right way. Just watch this. Your head stays down and you become very restrictive. You can't move your body properly. What should happen is, you watch the ball, you keep your head up to allow you to turn, and when you strike the ball, you follow the ball with your eyes. So your head is up, your chest and hips are facing forward. That's how you swing. So remember, keep your head steady, you watch the ball, but keep your head out of the way of your swing. One of our viewers, Peter from Galway, is after emailing us in. His problem is slicing. Jeff, what can you do to help him? A slice is one of the most common problems in golf. I'll show you what causes a slice. Look at the club face. It stays open through impact. The best way to fix that, there's two ways of fixing it. Number one, move both hands to the right. So you move your thumb to the right of the shaft. And number two, move this hand to the right. And number two, when you hit the ball, touch your forearms through impact. This closes the face and stops the slice, just like Tiger Woods. Okay, let's see how that works. Thanks very much for that, Jeff. He makes it sound easy, doesn't he? Well, hopefully, anyway, that'll help your golf at home. And uh, we look forward to seeing you next time. Thank you. Yes. Hello.